Right, thank you for joining The Average Golfer. I'm back here at Four Golf Chester and uh, it's been a busy old week. I've had to come here quite a few times this week because it's been uh, it's all been about Srixen. Can we see Srixen there? Uh, but today, I'm gonna be looking at the ZU85. Let's get that in focus. That's a nice looking golf club, isn't it? Plenty of, uh, plenty of shine on that thing. Right, get back to the shine on my bald head. Um, yeah, ZU85, I currently game the ZU65, which is probably, uh, I don't know, maybe it's two years old now, is it, that club? Miyazaki shaft, we're gonna go with the UST recoil shaft, which is made available in this um, this range, these models, uh, which is a fantastic shaft, I think. I'm gonna see how it performs in the hands of the average golfer. It's a three iron, it's 20 degrees worth of loft. Move this camera out into that driving range, get whacking some golf balls and see how this thing performs in the hands of the average golfer. Well, the first thing I've got to say about Srixen is uh, they've not gone, they've not painted this thing up to be something it's not. There's no fancy name, excuse me, in terms of the uh, technology, in terms of the blurb on the website. And uh, the club itself is very much stripped back, very much classic in its looks in terms of high chrome finish. It's got a wide sole plate, little bit when you set the ball at a dress there is a thick top line um, and there's a little bit of the mass the bulk um, that is visible at a dress as well that will maybe appeal to some it'd be a bit bulky for others so it's that kind of thing do you want a bit of a confidence um, in terms of bulk behind the club head that thickness of the top line and it's a weird one for me quite honestly because if i look at a set of irons or if i have looked at a set of irons in the last uh, 10 years or so Everything I'm drawn towards first and foremost is that thin top line. And then for some reason, if you tell me it's a, uh, it's a driving iron, logically, I'm expecting that thicker top line and somehow my brain will accept it. So it just shows how, I don't know. <laughs> We're just, uh, the, the brain is a very strange thing in the terms of, uh, certainly in the, in the game of golf at least. So I have no problems with the way this looks addressed. And like I said, I game it currently. Um, I'm going to hit these from this kind of, um, this, this little bit of fluffier turf, if you like. It's not the tight lie uh, that's right beneath me now that I'd normally take an iron shot from. But I'm not going to play it from a tee either. I'm going to take it from, I would say, what it very sort of uh, imitates a fluffy lie, I would say. Uh, so it's sitting on quite nice. And we'll see if we can clip these off the top. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's another hollow body construction. And it's a 1020 carbon steel, so a forged body uh, with a certain face insert that is going to help ball speed but uh, then both of them combined from what I've seen off camera or what I've tried off camera produce a nice feel and sound but let's hit some balls whilst we're on like I said I'm using this recoil shaft which comes as a standard option um, with this club Nice first start, a little bit off, off of the bottom. Don't forget we'll be using TP5 golf balls and uh, DC2 to record all the data. I think it really depends, like I said, what you like from the tee. For some reason, I much prefer this type of club than taking a sort of the hybrid option, if you like. Oh, that's a strike. Striking more like the first ball I hit out was, um, like I said, got off the bottom a little bit and a slightly lower ball flight, a little bit thin. Second ball, really nice. It's at 18 degrees, sorry, 20 degrees worth of loft on this, um, but it's noticeable. It's a very easy to launch um, golf club. Ball flight that I really like. There it goes again. The thing I like about it is that whilst it's once the ball gets up there in terms of a relatively high launch for this type of club, it doesn't float, it doesn't hang there, it's a nice penetrating ball flight still. Good carry distances from what I can see. Um, and all round just, I mean, if someone, the, the question I'm asking myself as a consumer, all the best of swings on that one. The thing that I'm asking myself as a consumer is that I have the ZU 65, how much difference is there between that and this because and obviously we could quite simply do a head-to-head -head. maybe that's a video to come because it's the identical club that I game 20 degree uh, three iron um, visually there's very little at all difference 
little bit of extra bulk actually on the newer club a um, little bit more mass behind the uh, the strike area but same sort of feel and sound not massively different oh. the thing that interests me more than anything on a personal level is um, again it goes back to the thing what I said about graphite irons in the video I did in recent weeks I'm asking myself sort of if this is available in a three iron what's it like in four five and six because I'm certainly my mindset is changing I'm thinking I want to make this game as simple as possible and by having this type of club in the bag and certainly perhaps like I said even into four and five iron I think is a real option that people average golfers should be considering I'm not going to hit any more golf balls while I'm not, I'm not on camera at least I will at least shut up for now we will um, I'll carry on um, here's in a few more in terms of getting a better sample of data and we'll go through the numbers and uh, I'll give you my overall evaluation of this uh, ZU85 right so quick change of camera position and um, yeah go through the numbers we're going to keep this very very brief uh, as I have done with the other reviews we're going to try and stay move away slightly from data-led reviews to more like what we've just done there have a general chat through and I'll give you my instant it, my thoughts as soon as I start with the golf ball I feel that's uh, a little bit more important than perhaps the data but we'll certainly back it up hopefully with uh, what I've seen out there into the range anyway here's the numbers now for you um, 126 127 ball speed uh, one in particular there uh, dropped well two actually dropped right off but in the main high sort of 126 to 130 ball speeds launching at 18.1 as I say it was quite a high launching club uh, for the amount of loft that it had on it 3-3 spin 35 peak height and again barring the odd one or two balls that dropped out it was certainly uh, the ball was plenty airborne and overall a 200 yard carry which like i said eliminating two bad shots which was the 183 and the 194 carry which were when the ball speed really dropped off they were all in and around that sort of 200 yard mark in terms of carry very very consistent performer hit balls like I said both on and off camera um, and quite a few more as well because this is something that I'm personally very interested in um, overall assessment is a simple one really if you like this type of club if you like a driving iron in your bag then for me it's possibly the best out there and I say the best um, certainly in terms of for average golfers I think that like is there's likes the uh, Callaway utility iron which I love lovely piece of feel but a very small profile and a lot of people would struggle with it so I think for the mass market if it's a club that you like and like I said an option instead of you um, instead of a hybrid then this is a real winner because it it does a little bit of everything like I said a bit of confidence in terms of the bulk it's so easy to get airborne lots of variations in terms of how you could build a set as well with the Srixen uh, 785s and 585s and maybe put this in the longer end of the bag as well so plenty of permutations a real good good option I think for a lot of golfers so as ever my opinion is almost irrelevant because it is just one person's opinion the important thing is get out there try them yourself and then comments down below and let me know what you think but uh, yeah really really impressed with this said u85 so much so i want to try a few more of these things and then longer irons was talking about anyway see you soon